everyone, please welcome to the stage, Raul Shaggy! <laughs> all right. I know what you're all thinking. I don't know the Uber. So my name is Rahul Saga, and if it's the appearance that doesn't get a laugh, it's the name, Rahul Saga. On weekends, I can get away with my first name, call myself Rahul. You all right, love? <laughs> Fancy an Indian. <laughs> but my surname, Saga, what the fuck is that about? When I was in school, right, I used to get called Sonic, because that little shit used to run across the screen, Saga. And then I started getting called Shaga. That was when I was in my prime. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Do that right. And now it's just saggy, because uh, let's face it, that's the most applicable to me right now. <laughs> so yeah, I'm straight out of the ghetto, yeah? Straight out of Walton Village. <laughs> it's not really a ghetto now, the drug dealers moved in. But just the other day, I got some new neighbours, right? So I got these new neighbours, and I could hear them through the wall, moaning and groaning. My proper at it they were. It was only the next day I found out it was an elderly woman. She'd fallen down the stairs, she was walking the stick to get my attention through the wall. <laughs> Feel bad about the wank I had now. <laughs> so I was dead excited to do this gig, and then something happened today, something really, really bad, and I'm really depressed about it. My cousin Rishi just got the top job, didn't he? <laughs> Don't fucking clap, that. What are you clapping for? <laughs> Fucking dickhead, what am I going to be like at every family party now? You, clapping. Thank you very much, I think I would. I've been telling my dad that for years. My dad's telling me Uncle fucking Gupta over there, he's saying, hey, my son, he's doing stand-up comedy tonight, huh? huh? Dead excited, selling tickets on the door like a doorman. He's basically coming over to me and he's going, yes, but my son, Rissi, Rissi is now Prime Minister, eh? I just went in the corner shop next door. They're not paying fucking tax anymore. <laughs> you know? So I get asked a lot where I'm from. They say, where are you from? I'm saying, oh, I'm from Liverpool. They're like, no, no, come on. <laughs> I say, I'm really from Liverpool. He says, oh, yeah, thieving scousers, ah, ha, ha. I'm like, listen, dickhead. I said, did you know last year Liverpool had the lowest crime rate in the UK? Did you know that? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. But here's your wallet, your soft southern bell end. <laughs> and then they find out I'm Indian and they can't help to tell me what their favourite fucking starter is. <laughs> like, that's shit I need to know. You can't stop telling me what their favourite starter is in the Allerton Road. I fucking, I need to know that. I don't go to Jack, do I, and say, hey, have you heard about Toby Carvery, Bootle? <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyone been to India, by the way? No, no one wants to say. <laughs> well, it's a shithole, all right? To be honest, it's a shithole. I love those programs on TV where the chefs, they go to India to find the best curry in the world. The best curry in India. Curry's not a fucking thing in India. It's a thing in the UK. It's like me going to my uncle. I want a curry. Huh? You what, you bastard? <laughs> I'm like, uh, I want a curry. Like a chicken curry. You mean Rogan Josh? I'm like, you the fuck Rogan Josh? I might be. Yeah, all right, dickhead. <laughs> so I go to him, I say, um, what's Rogan Josh? He goes, no, no, no. I just want a hot and spicy. Chicken tikka masala. And he's like, why don't you tell me? There's a number for the Allerton Road Taj Mahal there. You can go for that instead. Um, sort of lost where I was going now. Thanks very much for that. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, uh, I think I'll just leave you now. Thanks very much for your time. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Well, shake it, everyone. <laughs>